Um, here's a guy that didn't play a ton last year. By the way, um, this is one of the players who, when we look at the tracking metrics, was one of the better athletes in all of college football when he did play. Luke Musgrave of Oregon State, go Beavers, Corvallis, one of the coolest college towns uh, of all time, I would say. Um, 6'6", 250. Um, runs a 4'6", 1", 36 inch for a 10 broad. That's an athlete, right? Like that's a very good athlete at the position. Um, you know, averaged almost four yards per route run last year in limited time. In 2021 was not productive, but he had one thing going for him. And this is one thing I want you to talk about, Thomas. 13 yards average depth of target 2021, 12.4 last year. This is a guy that goes down the football field um, as a tight end. And when you think about why is this guy on the field, he's on the field to stretch, you stretch out the safeties, open up the offense. This guy has those markers, both athletically and then statistically. When you watch Luke Musgrave, what did you think? Okay. Let me start by saying, I like Luke Mus Musgrave. I think he's a good football player all around, right? Size, what you're talking about, just the pure athleticism, the number athleticism. Let's call it the way it is. And by the way, let me just, Give, give my guy who I have a lot of respect. I've always liked Bill Musgrave. This is his, his nephew. He's, oh. got, he's, got, he's got Musgrave intelligence in his blood, which is great. So I'm, I'm pulling for this kid. What he does, he's not the most, you know, yes, he has the numbers and everything. He gains speed, right? He's not, he's not again, the explosive stop-start guy, put his fit, foot in the dirt, you know, shake people and everything. He's not going to do that. That's not his style. Big kid, covers a lot of ground. Gets deep, as you know, catches balls, tracks balls, fundamentally very sound, unfortunate. What do you have, two games this year? That was a yep. little bit unfortunate. But again, he's a good football player. He's going to have a very productive career as long as he stays healthy, of course. And, um, you know, again, when you're talking about an, an athlete. I think he's a six athlete. I've never looked at him saying that he was a seven. That's probably more because I'm a big believer in that athleticism is whole, right? It's not just a 40 time. It's not just a burp. It is the ability to control the body. It's fluidity of movement. It's the explosiveness. And I tell my scouts, I told our scouts, not my scouts. I hate that. I told our scouts all the time. If you have an athlete and you're grading him in the sevens and the eights are at the top end of it, and they are gradual movers, there is no way that you can justify in our system that he is, you know, that excellent or the, the rare athlete. And I don't think he possesses that. However, I think on the blocking side, he's not a banger either, but he puts himself into it and he will put the effort forth. So, you know, look, I think this guy in an ideal situation, does he get out in the, in the back end of the uh, second or first round? Possibly. Ideally for us, as I said yesterday or two days ago, he's a, probably an early deuce second round, but he does get up there. He has a chance. I'm cheering for him. Yeah. And you think about even the best, tight end in the NFL right now, Travis Kelsey for a year or two was the two tight end on the chiefs behind Anthony Fasano, right? Like you do want to you, you like, if you take a guy in the first round, he's not going to be your second tight end. He's going to be your first tight end. You take a guy in the second or third round, he's going to be able to, you know, if you go somewhere with a guy, an ACE tight end that is able to do some of the dirty work and you're, you're able to sort of grow into that position. That's a very good place to be in. When you talk about a gradual mover, I think about, and again, like this is back to my playing days where I'm looking at guys and I'm like trying to emulate players, but I always thought Mercedes Lewis was that guy where there's nothing sudden about Mercedes Lewis. But when you watched him, his second 20 yards in the 40 were much more impressive than his first 10, 20 yards in the 40. And that that's tough when you're playing in a phone booth, a lot at a tight end where you do need to have some, some quickness and some choppiness to you um, to be able to make plays. As impressive as a four eight five Mercedes Lewis can be in any part of his speed, because he wasn't that right. We'll have a yeah. guy we're going to talk about a little bit later in the broadcast here, you know, who is much more Mercedes Lewis like body wise, but was faster, right? A couple tenths, maybe. Interesting enough, when that, that's a whole different story. But yes, on that, when I say gradual mover, just so everyone knows, I'm talking about the ability to come out of the blocks. I'm talking about the explosiveness versus, you know, a little bit of a loping element, right? There's a difference there, right? Longer, levered, loping. And I, you, you compare him, which I think is a very different movement than Michael Mayer. I mean, I didn't say this and I don't want to slam Michael, but Michael's got what we say in, in the scouting world. 
he's got some heavy leggedness. I don't even know if leggedness is a word. <laughs> JT O'Sullivan is going to be mad because he's going to say, see, can't even use the right word, leggedness. We say that often in the scouting vernacular, but he does. He's, he's a little heavy, you know, low. He's, he's got some pounding to him and, and, you know, lumbering to him. Yeah. He's not, I don't find, you know, when we're talking about uh, Musgrave as a lumberer, I just think he's, he's just more. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's guys who run smoothly that aren't necessarily fast and that, that it, you know, or quick, but they're smooth. Like when you, when you watch some guys run, it's like, Oh, that look like, looks like it hurts, but they could be fast. And then there are guys who run and it's a beauty. It like looks very smooth, but they're not that fat. Like I always think about, you know, there were just like some wide receivers that are like that who run very smoothly, but they're not, they're not fast, you know? And, and so it's weird. Um, but I get what you're saying. Michael Mayer, by the way, this is like sort of this, this difference, right? The best, the best tight end in the NFL right now, Travis Kelsey is not a red zone guy. He's not a get, he's not a box you out and catch the ball like a basketball player type player. He's a separator. Mm -hmm. um, Michael Mayer is very much a more of a Gronk where he'll get his ass in, in between you and the ball and like that in and you don't necessarily need to separate quite as much thomas are you are you showing off your drinks here or are you just like getting out of the sun here Please. i'm trying to get over here because this sun is killing me i can't can't find my spot this is even probably oh, there you much. go sorry about that everyone no it's all good and then you have uh, lady liberty behind you lady liberty but i there was a couple bottles or, or decanters of tequila when anyone ever comes by hopefully get you over here before you leave I, look, I, I'm, I'm, I can't wait. I look, I have not been drinking in a while. I feel like my skin looks like I haven't had a drink in like 25 days or something, but uh, not before I took a shower earlier.